I feel like the thyroid's best friend. <laughs> How many of you have thyroid problems here? So, you know, a pituitary makes um, TSH on a blood test, it's called thyroid stimulating hormone, and that helps to make the T4, T3 that you see on a blood test. And, you know, the numbers might be really fine, and you might have all the symptoms of thyroid problem. So our soil used to have plenty of iodine. We didn't swim in chlorine pools, <laughs> and we didn't have uh, fluoride in our water and our toothpaste, and God knows what, where you get it. So fluoride, chlorine, bromide is actually um, taking out the iodine, and iodine is what your thyroid is asking for. 80% of your iodine is in your thyroid, and, and then 20% is between, for women, your ovaries, your muscles, and, um, and um, bones. And so it's really important that we get iodine. And so how do we get iodine? Well, we have seaweeds. So there's kelp, there's dolls, there is seaweeds from other countries that people have used for many, many years. Of course, here on the coast of America, you have kelp. And I talked about the white Vikings this morning, and they used kelp because it was such a good food. It had great fat, great calories, great protein, and they knew how nourishing it was. So that's been used for thousands and thousands of years. So there is many forms of iodine. It has to be ionic. It has to be bioavailable. So there's many kinds. And seeing what it did to my mom, because if you don't have enough iodine, you either will end up with an overactive or underactive thyroid. My mom had an underactive, which means the numbers when you see on TSH go high, high, high. So it's like the opposite. You see the numbers on TSH be high, that means you're underactive. If it's very, very low, you're overactive. And that's underactive means it's, you, have a, you get a goiter eventually. And she had a big, big goiter. Now, that's just beginning on many other problems in our life. So we want to stop before it goes too far. Overactive, you hear about Graves' disease, Hashimoto. And these people, some are losing their thyroid. In, it's nuked away. And what we've seen is if we can get enough iodine from early time, selenium, zinc, this is what the thyroid is asking for. We get so much from our food, but when it comes to supplements, I would supplement with low dose iodine, eat seaweed, but also have selenium and zinc as a part of daily, daily life. And Talking about adoptogens, uh, we love adoptogens. I end up, my dad, who's still alive, and 92, I send him adoptogens. There's a, a business that we deal with that from Canada that's made an amazing product. And I send, I ship them to Sweden, and he has more energy than he ever had. It is so amazing that he keeps telling me, send it, keep sending it. <laughs> And, of course, the one he likes have CBD in it, too. And, of course, every country that has pharmaceutics seeing what CBD does, they ban it. So I have to smuggle it in. But anyway, he gets it. <laughs> but uh, it's, um, you know, it's very important to take care of your thyroid. So be kind and realize that it actually takes care of the absorption of protein into your cells oxygen into your cells, cholesterol into your cells. And it, does, it takes care of your whole metabolism. And when it's down, you're down. You're going to lose your hair. You're, not, you're going to have constipation. You're going to feel depressed. You're down. So to me, it's like we need to be the thyroid's best friend. And please never have a cell phone here, because the thyroid sits right here. It's like a butterfly under, behind your vocal cord. It is so sensitive to radiation that never, ever put the cell phone here. OK? Thank you. Well, thank you for your comments about thyroid and iodine. Iodine is a mineral that used to occur everywhere, but uh, long ago it washed down into the seas, and it's no longer available from land animals or plants. So that's why the seaweed is so important. 
And I'm glad you mentioned selenium because thyroxine can only be transformed into T3 or triiodothyronine if you have selenium. So you really need the two together. And if you have one and not the other, you still can be in trouble. And the thyroid is, of course, the master regulator of metabolism throughout the body. So if it's too high, you tend to kind of burn up. And if it's too low, well, you tend to kind of pudge out and get tired. Uh, very important. Thank you.